guys, welcome to this video, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I will show you how to set up your Viper VTX 10R correctly. First, what you will need is your Viper VTX 10R speed controller, the little V port cable that comes with your S-Link and that is also what you need, your S-Link program card or the ProGAC Pro program card. First of all, plug in your V port. You can have the transmitter on or off, you can choose this. Put in the little connection cable, not the receiver cable, but the little Viper connection cable into the V port. Push a little bit hard. Enough. Then put the cable into the S-Link program card. And now push the button on the V port one second. You will make two beeps. Then push one second again. And it will go in the program mode. What you see on your little setup card or program card is the name of your speed controller, the firmware, is the latest firmware on mine, on mine, and the profile you're at. So when you want to go a profile up, you can go to, you can click OK, load setting, and here you can choose profile 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Each pro, each pro, uh, programmed from each program from the from the factory has different uh, things for different cars. So boost, no boost, modified stock. And you can see that in the manual as well. So I will go to profile two because that is for modified 4VDs from motors uh, 4.5 turns to 9.5. Profile two, and his the loading is complete. Now I will go to change settings and I will see brake, click OK on the brake button, I will zoom in a little bit, you can see it, you can see it. Okay. brake, press OK, here you can see brake strength, brake PWM frequency and the brake curve, the frequency is the is how smooth or aggressive you want it, how higher the frequency, how smoother, how lower the frequency, how aggress how more aggressive. The strength, that's pretty for, for itself, for himself, 75% is enough for me. Brake PBM frequency can be a little lower because I'm aggressive breaker. The curve is just linear, you can also do with Expo, but for break that doesn't make much sense for me. Then click back, click on the ask button, Go to you can go to smart, smart break system also, okay. Here you can set the, the, the dynamic break, the drag break, and that's it. So the drag break, for me, I would like 10%. 10 dynamic brake nothing I just don't understand it that good now you can also choose the throttle the throttle so here throttle throttle PWM frank frequency just um, is the same as the frequency for the brakes how high or how smooth so I get it on the highest because I really like a smooth throttle throttle punch is 60% that's how fast your uh, speed, uh, your impulse from your radio will react. So when you get it a little lower, it will just rise from slow to fast a little bit later. It will just 